Hello, my name is Agatha, my email is uniazada.gmail.com and this is the interactive tarot reading for the month of May 2020. So we're going to have three choices, pick one, two or three, in order to find out how the month of May 2020 will be for you. I'm going to use the Stella tarot and this is smudged because I tried to, <laughs> I cleaned it and it smudged a little bit. It's the signature of the author of this deck, beautiful deck. And uh, it's going to be um, each 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 choice is going to be a five card choice. Okay, so it's going to be a reading of uh, of five cards. I'm sorry. So pick one, two, or three to find out how the month of May 2020 is going to be for you. Okay, okay. So if you picked uh, choice number one, if you pick choice number one, like I said before, I'm going to use the Stella Tarot for all three choices. Uh, and it's going to be a five card reading. So let's see uh, how the month of May 2020 is going to be for you, for choice number one. Okay, so I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut. I'm going to take five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. So you have how many Major Arcana cards? You have one Major Arcana card. So you have as the theme the Nine of Discs, which is the Nine of Pentacles. So it might be a month of uh, independence, May 2020, where maybe you're spending like your time alone. Maybe you're in your house alone. It's also you know a, a time of financial independence. You have no problems with money, you know. Like there's like other cards that tell me that there there it does not seem to be there's no problem with money here for those who pick number one uh, or if you do have problems with money maybe uh, there will be no problems uh, financially wise uh, during the month of May uh, 2020 and also this this card usually speaks of someone who has time she has time to spend. Uh, here you don't see it, but in traditional decks you see it in her garden, taking care of or of her garden, her flowers, her pets. So it's it's that. Another way of reading this card usually it, it, it speaks also of self-discipline. So maybe the theme has to do with self-discipline in uh, May 2020. Some will be able to self-discipline, others will will not be able. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm thinking you're not going to be able to self-discipline. I'm, I'm thinking that. I'm thinking you have time. You have time to devote yourself to things that are hobbies, for instance. And you're making money. You don't have a problem with money, honestly. So the base, the root, the, the, root, the cause, you have the hangman. It's a time of pause. Yeah, it's a time of pause. So it's not... So it's it's I, I would say that it's not self-discipline. Maybe you have to self-discipline in order to do nothing. Maybe not doing anything is very hard for you. Maybe you are the type who's a uh, workaholic, who's always working, working, working. And because of the present circumstances, you have to stay home and not work. And maybe this is like the first time in forever. And you're not used to that. And maybe you have to kind of force yourself to to stay put, to stay still. Uh, but it's it's a time of pause, a time of pause where you look at other things that maybe always interested you. You always had this other interest to higher things, like, let's call it that way. And finally, you have the time to devote yourself to these other subjects. Uh, now, the past connected with the present and the future, you have the three of discs. The three of discs is a card that speaks of talent. You are talented in what you do, maybe in your professional life. Um, it speaks also of group work. But I don't see... A, 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 I just see one person here. I don't see too many people. So this is a, a talented person. So you are usually hard at work. Okay? And you're, in this card, the nine of discs looks at the past, at the three of discs. So maybe you are stuck at home for the last three weeks for instance, and you kind of miss your job, uh, for instance, what else? So you, you're a, t a talented person, 
and you are viewed as a talented person and you make money with your talents okay so maybe you're still working maybe you're still working but you're doing it from home okay now that which is in your mind or that which you want you have the knight of discs the knight of um, discs is also pentacles or, or coins the knight in this deck is the king the king of discs <sighs> to me it's like you want to go back to work as fast as you can that's that's what's in your mind you want to go back to work you're tired uh, tired of being at home you don't want to be at home you just want to go back you're tired of this pause you try tired of it just want to go back to work and making money and making deals maybe you you are the leader maybe you have some sort of leadership role in uh, the company where you work what else if this is like a, a more like a a love reading the knight uh, of discs might speak of someone in his late 40s no late 30s or after the age of 40 from from an, an earth sign which is Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn and this is a very grounded person um, realistic practical uh, as very good leadership qualities very good with money you know uh, might have a lot of money and maybe you're thinking about him you know because you are uh, used to being independent and being single but maybe you know maybe now you're ready to open up your heart and have a relationship with someone and then uh, the um, the result the outcome it's the princess of cups the princess which is like the, the page of cups so this is a new opening for instance to love so for some of you and you might have met this person uh, through work right some sort of project and uh, you might have become interested in this person and uh, maybe you know you decide to kind of let go and let God and maybe decide to start a relationship with this person right now in May 2020 if this is not, if nothing to do with with uh, with love it's it's more to do with work and you have to, you have to be at uh, at home you know you can't work uh, maybe you decide to spend your time devoting your time to a project that it, it's done only out of love and it's like the first time that you devote yourself to this project okay or you devote yourself uh, towards your kids you you spend more time with your kids for instance okay so this is like the first option okay for may 2020 now you're gonna go to option number two option number two how the month of may 2020 will be for you we've picked uh, the second option and i'm using the stella taro which i've bought recently so how will the this is a five card reading how will the month of may 2020 is going to be for you for those who picked number two okay may 2020 i'm gonna cut And I'm going to show you the cards. So, one, two, three, okay, four, and five. So, so you have the first card as a, the theme or the subject is the Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups is the, the Knight of Cups in traditional decks. Here it's called the Prince. And uh, the Prince of Cups or the Knight of Cups it might speak of a journey, of some sort of traveling. Maybe you um, you might be traveling. I don't know if it's possible. No, it depends on where you live. But maybe s sometime during May 2020, you will be allowed to travel. And uh, it's this is could, could even be traveling for love, you know. But not necessarily. This could be some sort of trip. Okay. This could be anything connected with love. Maybe you start a new relationship or uh, this is connected to your love relationship. Uh, if this is a person, it might speak of someone around 20s or 30s from a water sign, Cancer, um, Pisces or Scorpio. And this is a very sensitive and romantic person. Kind of uh, someone who... You know, romantic, uh, 
with whom you might fall in, fall in love or might have fallen in love with you but this might not be a very long lasting relationship because it showed up as the prince or the knight and those are immature energies uh, or it could be if 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 it, if it if this is nothing to do with you know with love this is a, tri a trip you have to you have to travel okay or someone has to travel in order to meet you now the root the cause what is it it's the six of cups so this card is connected with again love but also children so let's say that finally in whatever you live you are able to travel and you travel because of your kids either to go and see them or to give them something you know if if they have been stuck at home for a month or more you want to give them something you want to travel with them to i don't know if this is possible disneyland or some sightseeing or even the bit beach if you can can do that but you want to travel you want to, you want to give them something like that okay uh, if it's not that it's uh, someone has to travel and you offer to do that trip uh, for the person okay someone needs let's say a neighbor needs to go and meet his mother or her mother or someone who is in distress so you offer out of the general uh, because you are a kind person and these two cards tell me that you are a kind person you offer to do this trip for him or for her or someone else offers to do this trip for you maybe you need to go somewhere but you don't have a car or you cannot travel and someone offers you that i will take you to your mother or to your uh, i don't know grandfather or your wife or your niece something like that i'll take you to your family member if you can't travel yourself so someone offers to do that or you offer to do that but if this is love this is a very kind love this might even be you know someone whom you met in your childhood or uh, like a love if it's not that it's a very pure sort of love you know like the love children have or this is something mainly if it's nothing to do with love it's being generous out of the kindness of your heart now the past connected with the present and the future you have the eight of swords now this speaks of being stuck being stuck feeling like a victim connected with everything that's going on so maybe you felt stuck at home and finally during may sometime in in may you finally get to get out get to travel you can you know take your car again or your motorcycle and maybe for the first time in in weeks you uh, are able to see your kids for instance or if it's not you it's someone like that and you offer uh, to take him or her to see their kids uh, because they felt stuck at home for a, for a while they were even sick at home for a while okay uh, if this is to do with love it feels like a liberation in may it feels like an emotional liberation because you can be the eight of swords you could have been in, in the past you felt like a victim in terms of love and finally finally you don't feel like a victim anymore you know you feel able to take a chance now uh, that which is in your mind or that which you want you have the queen of one uh, not the queen i'm sorry the seven of wands i'm thinking this is that which is in your head that which is in your head is like this defensive type of feeling maybe you feel that it's like you've been stuck at home for a while and that made you um work, work out your priorities and then you realize you know what uh, I need to be different for instance if, if you were too defensive in the past if you are if you were in a mind space of feeling like a victim you decide no I'm not going to be like this anymore I'm not going to be this defensive I'm going to do exactly what I wanted to do I'm going to travel and I'm going to make my kids happy or I'm going to uh, go and see my kids for instance or go and do something good for my kids it's like you get out of this headspace and this defensive mode it's like you're nicer to yourself okay uh, or if someone is like that you offer to help them if if someone is feeling like a victim if someone is feeling attacked you offer to help them now the the outcome is the sun so happiness contentment 
it's it's going to be a very good outcome in uh, May uh, 2020. If, for instance, you take a chance in terms of love, this is a brand new love, it's going to be all right, everything is going to be fine. Uh, the sun also illuminates. So whatever you do in terms of action, if this action comes from your heart, comes from the kindness and generosity of your heart, this action will serve to illuminate something that needed to be illuminated. And again, this also speaks of happiness and joy and contentment, okay? So maybe you help someone and that person will feel very glad and very joyous, you know, uh, because you help them, okay? Now I'm going to go to option number three. Option uh, number three. How will the month of May is going to be for you, for those who picked option number three and I'm using the Stella Tarot which is a brand I'm sorry a brand new tarot so I'm gonna use five cards five cards and let's find out how will the month of May 2020 is going to be for you May 2020 how is the month of May going to be for you I'm gonna cut I don't like to use always the the cards that I've used before the the whole deck because I want to see new cards coming out so one, ooh, two, three, four, and five. Okay, uh, so. The theme, you have the devil. Okay, so the devil could be deceit <sighs> or controlling, some sort of controlling energy. There's, this could be a controlling energy. Uh, this devil is also connected with Saturn because you see here the rings of Saturn and Saturn rules Capricorn so usually in the tarot deck uh, Saturn is connected with the world but I'm seeing here Saturn itself the planet so I'm gonna say that devil is connected with Saturn so you might have right now a very important transit of Sa Saturn going on in your chart okay or you might even be a Capricorn okay so I, the other cards around this one are very good ones, are very positive cards. So this could be read both ways, in a not so positive way, but also in a very positive way. So the devil can be a very controlling sort of en energy, a very um, a manipulative sort of energy. You can have uh, some, you know, person uh, around you who is very controlling, very manipulative. Um, the type of person who gaslights you, who lies, deceits, and tries to control you in all sorts of ways. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, and if it's not a person, and this person could be, I swear, it's allergies, okay? It's allergies, I swear. I'm fine, okay? If it's not a person, like a family member, spouse, or a, an employer, or a colleague, or a sibling. Uh, if it's not something close to you, someone close to you, it's an energy that you carry in yourself that has, for instance, where you worry about something way too much, or this is an addiction sort of energy also. If you have some sort of trouble with, trouble with addictions, and addiction could be overeating, you know, it could be drinking too much, something that controls you, okay? But if there's something that controls you or someone, you might be able to get out of that situation because of the other cards now in May 2020. Okay. Uh, if it, it's an addiction of... It could be like simple addiction, addiction like uh, smoking, you know. You might be able to get out of it. Also, again, like I said, you could be a Capricorn and you could have right now a very important transit in uh, the, the Saturn transit... A very important certain transit even if you're not a Capricorn either you could be a Sun Moon or rising in Capricorn you can be around degrees of 20 to 25 degrees of Capricorn whatever Sun Moon or rising or if you're not a Capricorn the Saturn transit right now affects your chart <clears throat> again I'm sorry in a way that you uh, uh, th this challenge you surpass it, okay? You surpass this challenge. Now, the base is the root. You have 
the three of wands. Also another thing, uh, this card, the devil, means money, lots and lots, and lots of money. So some of you are coming into lots and lots, and lots of money. The three of wands is, um, your ships are coming in, it's a success card, so could be a success in terms of finances, you know. Could be you inv invested in something in the past and finally, could even be like for three years we invested in something, finally you have success, you are achieving success. Now the past connected with the present and the future, you have what you have, you have the queen of, again money, queen of discs. Queen of discs or queen of pentacles uh, could represent someone. Again Capricorn, I'm thinking you might have something in Capricorn. Uh, someone late 30s or after the age of 40 from an earth sign Capricorn Taurus or Virgo. I'm thinking Capricorn, but this person is very practical, grounded, down to earth, very fertile, has a lot of money, uh, has a lot of resources, has a lot of abundance, uh, knows how to take care of money, uh, could, be, could have like a leadership role, could be even a mother figure. You could have money from a mother figure. You could be inheriting uh, some some money, some family money, you know, uh, a grandmother, um, an aunt, even your mother. I really hope that's not the case. Okay, if it's, I don't know, you could be inheriting money from someone, or maybe you invested in something in the past, maybe with another person, and finally this investment is coming to fruition in May 2020. Uh, right, or someone invested in you, right? It's, and finally, this is this is coming into fruition, okay? Uh, now, that which is in your head or that which you want, you have the two of cups. You want solid partnerships full of harmony. If this is a partnership with someone with money, I mean, both of you have money, it's a very harmonious relationship. That's what you want. If you have some sort of problem with someone who's controlling you, that which is in your mind is, uh, you know, having peace, having, <clears throat> I'm sorry, having truth, making, making harmony and making peace with this person who might be a woman, you know, that's what you want. You want to have a successful relationship with this person, I would say. This could be a spouse, uh, but this could be, you know, even a family member. If, the, if everything is going to be or uh, is all right, you are fully aware that uh, the, f the fact that you're coming into money, that your ships are coming in, success is coming in, that is due to the fact that you have a good, solid, harmonious relationship either with your spouse or with a partner, who's a f um, uh, it's not love partner, but a partner with whom you have business. Okay, so the outcome you have is the Knight of Wands, which is the King of Wands. So the King of Wands might represent, I'm, I'm going to say a guy, late 30s or after the age of, of 40, because the Knight in this deck is the King, from a, a fire sign, Aries, uh, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. And this could be a very, a, this is a leader, uh, this is someone creative. This is someone enthusiastic. This, this person knows exactly where they are going and they are going towards it in a very enthusiastic sort of way. Uh, this is a fiery pers personality. I'm thinking if, if you have some problems, uh, it's between one of you is a Capricorn, the other one I'm going to say is an Aries. <laughs> Not necessarily an Aries, but one of you is a uh, um, earth sign, the other one is a fire sign. Or you can have that in your own uh, astrological chart. But it feels like right now there's something very important in May 2020 going on in your chart. A very important Saturn transit that kind of squares or opposes uh, Aries. I'm going to say Aries. Okay? Or uh, Saturn right now, I think it's in Aquarius, so it could even be opposing something in Leo, okay? So it might be a Leo with whom you might have some sort of problems uh, in May 2020. So, but this is some sort of challenge. But if you surpass this challenge, everything will uh, turn out all right. Uh, in a more positive way, whatever, if you have like a business partnership, this success will uh, help you go further 
in whatever you're doing, okay? If you have some sort of controlling person, you will break off from that person and you move away, uh, okay? This person could even be, you could be, for instance, the, the, the Capricorn or the Taurus or the Virgo, and the other person might be the Leo or the Sagittarius uh, or the Aries, and this other person might have a very fiery personality, and you might, might be... Um, you, you might repress yourself a little bit more and the other person doesn't repress themselves all that much. So you might have some sort of conflict with this other person. But these are many different ways of reading these cards. But there's like a lot of fire right now. And um, there's fire, right? But there's harmony. I, I'm thinking you're surpassing this challenge. That's what I'm thinking. You are surpassing this challenge. Okay? And maybe some of you will be able to break free and go in your own direction, okay? Full of joy and enthusiasm and fire. And that's it. Uh, this is the reading that I have for you for May 2020. And I really do hope you have a great month. Bye-bye. Uh,